Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Ways of the Sith. Thank you so much for taking time to check out the channel. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Ways of the Sith. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I currently have my air conditioning going because it's 95 degrees today in April. Uh, last week it was 30 degrees. Today it is 95. So global warming is absolutely 100% real. <laughs> but today I have a huge, huge mail haul. So I let my mail build up and I let my packages build up uh, and I had to go pick them up today. So I currently have a huge stack and we're gonna go through everything here, as well as a gift from Josh, uh, one of the followers on the channel, one of my good buddies that I met through Twitter, and uh, so we're gonna get to open that, as well as all of this other stuff. So let's take a look and check it all out. All right, so first up, we got Marvel Legends Spider-Gwen from Across the Spider-Verse, and I gotta say, this actually looks really, really good in person. So I was on the hunt for these. Um, I saw everybody else finding this whole wave in stores in Walmart. And I checked literally like every Walmart in like a 20 mile radius and didn't find a single one anywhere. Um, so when they, these did go up on Amazon, I was able to order one and I am really happy that I did. So I only collect pretty much for Marvel Legends, uh, Spider-Man figures. Uh, for the most part, I only do the retro cards, but because this is on a card and it's got a window like this, and I didn't pick up a Gwen with the previous Spider-Man movie, I decided, like, let me grab this one just to be on the safe side. And I really, really love the way this looks. This actually, like, is more proportionate than I thought it was in comparison to some of the other Spider-Verse figures. Um, but she looks great. I I'm not going to open this, obviously. This is just going to stay on the card. But... This actually looks really good. Um, I'm really, really happy with this. So here's a look at the other figures in the wave. I don't think I'm picking up anybody else. Uh, perhaps maybe the Miles if I found him in the wild, but everybody else. Uh, I know Steve-O and uh, TF Fan and a couple other people got the Spider-Punk and seemed to really, really like him. Uh, it does look like a really cool figure. So I'm really, really happy with this Gwen. Uh, this is definitely gonna look really cool on the wall with the rest of the Spider-Man stuff. Okay, so this one's wrapped in bubble wrap, and I already know what it is, but let's see. It's open. So I grabbed this for fodder. Uh, this is the Marvel Legends Executioner from the two pack that comes with Hella. Um, I don't need any of the accessories or anything. This body is to improve my Savajo press. So I made a Savage, uh, I, I like him a lot, but I wanted him to be more accurate. And from what a lot of people's recipes I've seen, everybody pretty much just uses this body for the Savage. So stay tuned for a new upcoming Savajo press. I did order a brand new head sculpt for him. So he will actually have a real Savage head instead of just the yellow uh, uh, head from the Gamerverse figures but this is really really cool i'm really happy to get started on this and, and start painting it up so funny story about this one i had ordered this head probably about two and a half months ago uh, on ebay it was just a cheap fodder find uh, i wanted the head actually for cover girl for the gi joe classifieds and the head got lost in the mail it never showed up so i actually got refunded the money and then yesterday or two days ago this mysterious package showed up that I wasn't expecting, and it was the head from eBay. So this is a Cat Power Rangers head from the two-pack box set. Uh, I really wanted it for CoverGirl to swap out and give her a new head. Um, it, I do have a CoverGirl review coming, and I use the Sharon Carter head, but I will be swapping it out with this, because I think this looks exactly like the girl who played her in the G.I. Joe movie, so I think it'll look really cool. Um, but yeah finally showed up sorry to the ebay seller uh, i'll probably have to try to reach out to them and maybe see if i can just paypal them the money for it because i feel bad but really cool so i just put the head on the cover girl and i really really like this this actually looks like the um the girl who almost played wonder woman she was in shield adriana something i'm sure you guys know who i'm talking about but looks really really cool um i actually really dig this this is perfect for her now shout out to my good buddy gerard kane over in ireland 
he posted a picture the other day and had this light on his shelf and I absolutely loved the way it looked. So I looked on Amazon and found one and ordered it. I sent him a message. Uh, so Gerard, if you're watching, I ended up getting it. <laughs> but really, really cool. It's just a Star Wars logo, you know, the wording, just like it is on the box, just as a light. So uh, really, really cool. I'm happy to have this. Like I said, I'm working on building the display behind me and adding some more stuff that's not just figures. Um, so really, really cool little piece to have in the collection now. So this next package is actually a gift from Josh McNear, who's a follower of this channel and has become one of my good buddies, honestly. Um, it's really cool. I guess I never really expected, you know, the internet can be a, a horrible place, but I never really expected to find like a good community of people that all enjoy the same things and that we can talk and, and converse back and forth and speculate and come up with different things. And even if, our tensions get heated, you know, arguments, whatever. Everybody still stays cool with each other. I love that. Um, we, we really just are passionate Star Wars fans at the core, and we all have other interests outside of that. And it's just been really cool to, to build this little community. So I really thank everybody that tunes in and watches this or people that I interact with on a daily basis on Twitter and stuff. But Josh insisted that he was going to send me something. I told him that he had no obligation to um i told him to take the money and go buy something that he really wanted and he insisted on sending me this so let's get this open and check out what he said so enclosed is this very beautiful card thank you josh so much honestly um expect something in in the mail for you uh whether you like it or not but this is very, very nice of you. I'm not going to read what the card says, but thank you very, very much. It, it truly, truly means a lot. Um, he sent me these t-shirts and oh my God, this is awesome. So, Star Wars Day, may the fourth be with you. Oh man, that is so cool. So cool. You sent me two shirts. Oh Oh man, this is awesome. A Return of the Jedi shirt. Oh man, Josh. Yeah, buddy, you did not have to do this. This is so, so thoughtful of you and so cool. Oh man, I love this. I absolutely love this. Oh, it's got the 40th logo on the back and everything. Man, this is so, so cool of you, for, for real. Thank you, thank you so much. This is really means a lot this is really really cool i just i still really just can't get over this this is so so cool of you josh like awesome dude like it, it's been like i said such a pleasure to, to to meet all these people from all over the world that really have become like some of my best friends um i speak to all these different people on a daily basis and we interact and we talk about shows and theories and you know different things that we pick up and and just all kinds of stuff and I, it just truly means a lot to to meet people that that enjoy the same things that i do and you know that are actually good people um a lot of the times i lose my faith in the world sometimes and it it's stuff like this and it's interactions with people like josh that really um just make me realize that there's still some good out there in the world so truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very, very much for this. And next up, finally, some new Star Wars Black Series figures arrived. Uh, still waiting on the Luke and still waiting on Cal Kestis, but I got the rest of this wave. Also, I had no intentions of ordering the HK droids, but God damn you, Disney. As soon as I saw that they were in the Ahsoka trailer, I just shook my head and went, Fuck, now I have to order two HK-87 droids. So I have them coming, um, but I got this wave. I got Luthen, I got Mom Mothra, I got Bix, and I got Din. Um, so really cool. I got a nice deal on these and saved some money. So I have heard some mixed reviews about some of these figures. I will be doing a full review for all four of them all in one shot. 
Um, so stay tuned for that and we'll go over some of this. But uh, I, I did hear some people had some problems with Luthen and Mod and that you're better off just waiting for them on clearance. But we'll see when I do the actual video. But they look really cool. Hate this packaging. Not gonna lie. Can't wait till it's gone. Um, but for the time being, it is very nice to finally get some new Star Wars figures arrive. And last, but most definitely, definitely not least, I acquired a grail item I've been trying to get for quite some time. And you guys are gonna laugh because I literally snagged this the day before the Ahsoka trailer dropped and the price of this literally quadrupled. So I was almost certain that the seller was gonna cancel my order and relist the item for like three times more. Cause I wanna say this, this jumped to like 300 to 350. Like as soon as people saw Thrawn in the Ahsoka trailer, but I got this for a fantastic, fantastic price. And this is something I've been dying to get. Um, I wasn't collecting Black Series at the time when this came out, but I remember seeing it like when it was announced and just was like, oh my God, that's such a cool set. And like, I had only known Thrawn from Rebels at that point. Um, not, you know, didn't dive into all of the books and didn't, not as much love for the character as I have now for him. And this was just something that I really, really was trying to track down for the longest time. And finally, finally was able to get it. And I'm very happy what I paid for it. Um, especially the fact that, like I said, the, the price literally shot through the roof. Um, so let's take a look at the front and then the back here. We got the breakdown of Thrawn. And then let's slide this off. It is a little dusty. Whoever had this did not did not dust regularly. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so so cool. So my plan is to use this like as a backdrop, you know, in my display and then set up Thrawn in his, his office. But this is so, so cool. So cool, yeah. This is something that I really, really wanted for quite some time and I'm very, very happy to have this in the collection now. So I can't even fit everything in the shot. I, I tried. <laughs> I am like totally zoomed out here. You guys can see my curtains in the background and everything, yeah. <laughs> I can't even fit everything in the shot. I apologize. But thank you so, so much for taking time to check out the video. And Josh, again, thank you very, very much for these, these, these fantastic shirts. Like, absolutely love them. Uh, I'm really happy with everything that I got. This, this is a great, great, fantastic haul. Praise the toy gods, as Dudes Nerdery would say. Um, some offerings will definitely be made. <laughs> but thanks again for taking time to check out the video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, May the force be with you. It would be honored if you would join.